You know, people just don't get excited about a team that's losing. So it, it, it's, and they're not real fans. Who cares? That doesn't bother you at all. <laughs> no, c- come on. Come what on. about a guy that takes the Phil Sims jersey and he had it on the bottom of his draw, but when you were doing well, that's when he decides to bust it out. I don't want fans like that. Yeah, but th- that's just reality. That's why they're fans. They're fanatics. And um, uh, look, you're, I'm not the right guy to ask those things because remember. I was in Giant Stadium all those years, and everybody goes, oh, what a great plan they treat. Hey, come on. What do you mean? Most of the time, they're booing, they're cursing, they <laughs> right. hit you. Uh, I come out after the game. You know, there's stuff on my car. You know, that's when we didn't have protected park. I parked out with the fans. Eggs were all over it. And then I'd play a great game. There'd be a note on it. Here, Phil, you know, you played a great game today, but I just want you to know you still stink. Is there something to be said about the mental state you need to have to play in a big city like New York or Philly or one of these cities where – you're right. You're still a guy. I mean, you're still. By the way, man, I, you're still a man with feelings. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear you got my note, Phil. Yeah, I, I hear you. Yeah, I always wondered about that. So I saw it once, and it was. This is true. There was a box, and I thought, wow, somebody left me a gift, and it was. It was a. It was a bottle of perfume, and it says, "You played well today, but you still stink." Oh, man. <laughs> Hilarious! It was great. Yeah, it was great. It only nice. cost me about fifty thousand dollars in car damage over the years, but that's another point. But you know, 